We are trying to help out Sherry this morning. Uh, she went on a, I mean, she didn't give us a whole lot of details, but it seemed like the date went well with her and Brett on our 715 second date update. Yeah, it seems like a pretty standard date. She mm-hmm. said they were not uncomfortable with any conversations. Really, no details at all. <laughs> yeah, and you asked. I know. Like, I, I want some juicy, some details. juicy yeah. ones. And there was I nothing. know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's nothing. She's disappointed. No. I know. She still wants to go out on a date with this Brett guy. So. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to always be drama. <laughs> I'm not talking about drama. I'm just talking about excitement. Well, it's kind of the same thing. Let's see if uh, <laughs> let's see if we can figure this out for Sherry and try to call Brett. Hello? Hi, is this Brett? Yeah. Hey, Brett. This is uh, 99.5 QIK. It's Tampa Bay's morning crew over here. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's the excitement we expect here. Uh, hey, yeah, listen, I know, I know. I understand we're catching you off <laughs> guard, man. I thought it was man. one of those... Uh... I thought it was going to be the uh, car car insurance. No, I understand. No, no, it's not. I promise we're not telemarketers. And I know it's a random phone call. Hey, man. Yeah. I was, like, what um, is, yeah. I was wondering if we could talk to you for a couple minutes. We're actually uh, on the air right now. Is that okay if we keep you on the air and, and talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, I guess. All right. So we were actually going to ask you about a date you went on. And we heard about this girl, Sherry, Sherry. you went on a date with. You guys went to uh, JD's. Uh, she said a lot of. First dates can be awkward, but with you, it was very comfortable. Uh, she felt like you guys, you know, really hit it off, and she felt like there was nothing that could have really discouraged you from getting back to her. But I guess she's reached out since the date and has had and has heard nothing from you. So we're just kind of trying to figure out what's going on. So she, hold on, let me. She called you guys, right? That's about, how we got your number. Yeah, about me and our date. Yeah, she's been reaching yeah. out, trying to get a, a hold of you, and just. Oh no, I, I, I I'm aware oh. of that. I mean, I'll actually share this because. This has actually been on my mind. I was talking to a buddy about this. So, yeah, I didn't get her text messages uh, until a few days after the date. Why? Because I had no phone. What are we talking to you about now? Did you steal it? No. This is literally at the beginning of of our date. So we're, we're sitting down. She takes her purse and she's just like, boom, on the table. She knocks my phone off of the table and onto the ground where the, the glass, you know, the just completely shatters. Ooh. And it's my phone. It's like everything's on there. I got like my cryptocurrency apps on there and stuff. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> access to money. Shibu Inu. And I'm in on that. I, I use it for like payments for stuff too. You know, like just going to Subway for God's sake. So just, you boop, there it is. Right. It's, so it's, it's your it's, lifeline. I got it. Yeah. So it's, it's your phone shattered? It's black. It won't turn on. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not freaking out, but I'm, I'm a little, like I'm sweating a little bit. I'm like, and she, she literally, she, I, I swear to you, is what I heard. That's peace. That's what she said. Like it was something cute. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to just be in the moment here. It's a phone, sure. Um, but the whole time in my head, I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm like, I'm like, are you gonna say something about this phone? Like if I hit, broke someone's phone on accident or however, right? I would immediately be like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, do you need me to help you with something? You know, so what do you? I mean, what do you, you want her to pay for the phone to get you a new phone? Is that what you? No, you know, it's like about the offer. It's like so the text message is what it was for me. It was like completely clueless, just like, hey, great time. So where are you taking me next? And there was something about about like it'd be nice to get some lunch with you. Zero about my phone. No apology. And like I said, you don't have to pay for my phone, but. But to at least acknowledge it. Yeah, so Brett, you felt like she just kind of dismissed this. And obviously, it's a big deal when your phone gets broken, but she kind of well, just. Well, expensive. Yeah, I just went through it. Just the unawareness or, or the. I get it. Okay. I, I, I totally get where he's coming because they're yeah. clueless. I'd be bummed out. Yeah. Well, let me see if uh, what Sherry has to say, Brett. We actually have her on the phone with us. Sorry. And I want to oh, bring her oh, back great. home. Oh, uh, Sherry. Well. Yeah. You got some So, was there a little, like, a little phone mishap? Yeah, at the at the very beginning of the date, I kind of already forgotten about that, you know. Like like phones break. It just happens. It wasn't like I picked it up and chucked it across the room. Yeah. 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 Um common sense for me, like in life to apologize for for something like that even if it was an accident. And and the fact that you steamrolled through it for me was like representing some bigger Deal. Do you know what I'm saying? 
Um, you don't know what I'm saying. I'm a little confused, actually. I, do you, I mean, Sherry, do you think you're responsible for helping him pay for his phone? I mean, apparently you've got a big old purse that knocked it off the table. Um, I don't know. I didn't know his phone was there. Like, if he's so worried about his phone, then, like, keep it in your pocket or something, you know? Oh, sure. okay, I will say this. Sherry's really cute. There were plenty of moments where I was like, oh, you know what? There could be a connection here. But something like that for me says that, like, let's say that this went into, like, a third, fourth date. There was relationship. I feel like the entire relationship, it would be like, oopsies, 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 or somehow it's not her fault. Well, Brett, I mean, it sounds like you're upset because she didn't acknowledge it. She didn't say sorry for it. She didn't offer to help pay. I mean, is there a way to get past this, though, for you, man? Because you did say she was cute. You did say there was moments where you were having a good time. I mean, could you I see did, yourself? I just getting... feel like she's in her own little world, and, and I just felt like to be so socially unaware just to say sorry. Okay. And that's probably how she sees life. Um, Like, we went through a whole date, and he didn't ever mention it again. So he held on to this, didn't say anything. So I would be worried that, like, things would happen and he would just hold on to them until I was, like, you know, smacking them later. So, yeah. If I was getting into your car and I grabbed the handle on your door and I broke the handle off your door. Wow. And then I was like, oopsies. And then I didn't say anything about it. Not sorry or nothing. You don't, you wouldn't feel some sort of way? That's like assuming that I would be upset about it. Like, if my door handle fell off, it probably was going to fall off at some point anyway. Like, uh... (laughs) Let me jump in here. Listen, Brett, I got a question for you, man. Real simple. I mean, would you be willing to go on another date with Sherry? No, I I, I cannot do it with her. I cannot. Okay. There we go. We got there finally. All right. Uh, (laughs) Sherry, you heard what he had to say. It sounds like this just kind of came between you guys. Got off to a rough start. Uh, So it's not going to happen. I appreciate you reaching out to us. Sorry we couldn't make that happen for you. Uh, Brett, thanks for your time as well. Wait, Sherry, real quick. Is there anything else you have to say to Brett? No. I mean, that's okay. (laughs) It's his loss. I don't. Got a check. All right. All right, guys. Well, listen, you take care. We appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks, guys. All right, guys.